Hello, this is Daryl Dickerson, a member of the board of the directors for the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center. Welcome to another edition of Vibrant Living. Today, we have the privilege of uh, actually visiting with a somewhat old friend, I, not that you're old, but you know, somebody that I've known for a number of years, Nancy Barrett, yes. who is owner of Class with a Glass. Is that, that correct? That is correct, yes. Welcome, Nancy. Hello, thank you so much for having me. So why don't you tell uh, our viewers how you and I know each other? Well, Daryl, you and I met at Wenatchee Valley College um, when you came on board or were on board on the foundation um, board of directors. Uh, and I was employed at the um, Wenatchee Valley College Foundation at the same time. And I still work there part-time even to this day. Great. Yeah. And uh, we did have a opportunity to work together, I think for about seven and a half months, as I recall. So that was, that was a special time. So today we're going to hear and see about Nancy in a little different light today. And, uh, Class with a Glass. You bought this business a couple, two or three years ago? We did. We bought Class with a Glass um, on December 1st, 2017, and hit the ground running with, uh, you know, continuing to offer classes and, that had been pre-scheduled before our um, purchase. Tell us a little bit about this, you know, program. Uh, how does it work? Who is it served? Tell us a little bit about Class with a Glass. Sure thing. Well, Class with a Glass is um, known as sort of a sip and paint style um, experience for people who come through our doors. Uh, we welcome children in, teens, people of all ages, and they, um, when they arrive, they're welcome to uh, choose a seat at one of our painting tables, and we're able to uh, then lead them through a painting, as you can see some of the paintings around our studio mm -hmm. today, lead them through a step-by-step -step process to complete the painting. Um, during that time, they're able to enjoy locally crafted wines or beers or ciders. Uh, we serve a, a nice little meal, and it's generally just a really wonderful, creative, two and a half hour or so experience um, right here in the studio, and uh, just a very relaxing way to be creative and spend time together. Right. And so you said it's kind of a lesson, is sort of a painting true. lesson as part That's of true. We have uh, beginners who arrive and have never picked up a paintbrush, and we have well-seasoned artists who also come and enjoy our classes. Right. So anyone's welcome, beginners especially. Yeah. So who do you serve? Do you serve groups? Do you serve individuals, uh, young, old? Tell us about yeah. your clientele. So we have what are called general sessions that take place each week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday evenings typically, and anyone can sign up for those, whether it's a single person or a small group, people from the same family. But we also uh, really love to host private events. So we might have um, you know, a bridal shower or birthday parties for kids or for adults, family reunions, what have you. Corporate team building events are, are a wonderful um, way for people who you know, work together in the same kind of professional environment and they take a break and come over here to class with a glass and enjoy getting to know each other in this kind of a, an experience. Right. It's, so it's it sounds like you just serve a, a full range a of full range. ages. Yeah. And in fact, uh, yeah. I have a neighbor who just uh, celebrated her eighth birthday here at yes. your studio with, uh, I don't know how many of her friends, but it yep. looked like they were having a good time from what I saw on Facebook. It's true. The kids' classes are special. They come in and they're just so eager to learn and go through the process step by step. And, and on that note, one of the things that um, I've been able to introduce are summer art camps for kids. And um, that has been just a delight to bring in, you know, a larger group of kids, uh, have it be age appropriate per grade level. And uh, these kids come in for a week at a time, three hours um, per day. And we just expose them to different art experiences, different art mediums, craft projects, uh, some techniques. And um, it, it's really a wonderful time. I'm looking forward to bringing in some new uh, exciting classes this summer for our at camps. So when you say you're looking forward to, I understand that you might uh, be moving your location in the future. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how will your business differ from what you're doing today? Absolutely. <clears throat> well, this um, site here, we've used this site now for Class with a Glass since 2014. 
but um, it just feels like this business is ready to grow up a little bit more into its next level of uh, exposure and visibility in our community. So with that, we started looking around town to find somewhere that could offer a little bit more square footage and a little bit easier accessibility. And we did uh, find that place at what is currently known as the Value Plus Medical Supply sure. Building on Mission Street. Okay. So yeah, that's a great location. Perfect, Very accessible. perfectly great location and, and parking and well lit and um, so I'll be able to expand my class sizes, mm -hmm. but I'll also be able to bring in um, just some nice uh, variants on some of the retail that we will start offering with some expansion of art supplies. Uh, I plan to have sort of a gallery area where local artists can come and um, feature some of their uh, work and, and sell some of their work. Um, oh, great. And because of the additional square footage at the, at the new location, I really am hoping to um, expand my offering of it just being an event space. Whether someone wants to add in a painting lesson at the same time as having an event or not, I know that uh, event spaces are at a premium here in Wenatchee, so I'd like to be able to offer my, my new location um, in, that, in that way as well. Well, that sounds like a great match for you, as I know you, because I think, as I recall, you have quite a background in event planning and that type of thing. So I that's do. a nice fit. I do. I love, I love bringing people together and making sure they're well taken care of and have, have fun at the same time. Great. And I know teaching is also a passion of yours. So all those things seem to nicely fit together. You're right. You're right. right. So you've been through quite a journey in the last two and a half or so years since you've owned this business, uh, including a pandemic. And uh, I, I believe you closed down for a while, like many businesses and whatnot. Yeah. Tell us what that uh, experience, how did that affect your business? It, uh, it dramatically affected the business. Um, the year before the pandemic and the closures, I had steadily been building and increasing to the point um, of being just on the brink of a, of a nice expansion actually into the neighboring suite to this particular studio. Um, and had things planned for, for that kind of an expansion. And yet when, um, of course, the pandemic took hold and, and the restrictions across the state uh, resulted in us having to close down for the full year, we were open for a couple of weeks in October uh, this past fall, as well as um, we're currently open now. But uh, for probably 11 out of the 12 months, we were closed. And so we, uh, we did what so many small businesses have done. We adapted our business model um, in order to keep some momentum going. So I have two very talented young adult daughters who uh, are technically savvy and creative. And we came in here to the studio and I taught classes to a camera with them behind it doing some videography and we, we kind of had some crash courses on video editing and all of that world, but we're able to put those videos up online on our website so that people could at least order a class and, and do it at home. Mm -hmm. And with that, um, I felt like, gosh, why not supply some customized art at home supply kits? And so we also created four different varieties and we wrapped them up in a uh, brown paper bag and tie it up with string and deliver directly to people's homes if they're here in the Wenatchee Valley. And so that was, that was actually very rewarding to be able to uh, meet some people masked up face to face, but drop it on their front porch and know that they were still able to enjoy uh, what Class with the Glass has to offer, which is all about being creative. My, my motto as a business is connecting community through creativity and I see that happen again and again. Even when we were closed we did our best to, to maintain that kind of a, an emphasis. That's great. Very yeah. innovative and in fact that's one of the reasons that we were interested in interviewing you today is because at the Senior Center we've been closed as well. Yeah. We still are. Uh, we're hoping to open up again one of these days, but we're considering doing something similar uh, via Zoom or whatever the mechanism is so that our people can you know, enjoy the same type of thing. And so I know that we've talked about the possibility of joining uh, in some kind of a partnership to make that happen, and we'll see yeah. how, how that goes. I'd, I'd love to do that, whether it's um, helping people access my online classes that are pre-recorded 
or doing a Zoom event, I did go ahead and offer uh, or partner with the Humane Society here in town for some Zoom classes this past year as well as, as a mutual benefit for them as well as for me. So mm -hmm. uh, we had some, some pet loving artists join us and had some really successful Zoom classes uh, between the two of us. It was, it was a lot of fun. Great. I'd love to help the Senior Activity Center do that as well. Good. Uh, so how do people find out more about you? Do you have a website or how do you advertise? I do. I have a website. It's classwithaglass.com and um, I am on Facebook and I'm on Instagram, Class with a Glass Wenatchee. Uh, but I, I honestly will say that I think the very best advertising for me is my future location. Uh, uh, you can't miss can't location, miss me. Location, location, location. That's it. Location, location, location. And, and the signage will be bright and beautiful. And we're really excited to welcome people in who've never even heard of us before, as well as our loyal customers to welcome them into our, our new site. That's great. Tell me again your motto or your uh, creativity and what? Yeah. So it's connecting community. Connecting community. Through creativity. Through creativity. That's a wonderful motto, mission, and certainly fits right in with the theme of our valley, our future, and uh, working together and collaborating. So I hope great. so. Thank you. You bet. Yeah. Do you have anything else that you'd like to say uh, about your business or uh, what you see in the future? And hopefully we'll all be through this pandemic soon and be able to live a normal life normal again? Life. I do. Well, I think the thing I'd say is um, often, in fact, almost every class when we have people come through the doors, I always ask for a raise of hands of who has never painted before or who might feel a little uncertain about being here. And there's always people in the class who, who will feel that they maybe are out of place or maybe that they aren't going to do well enough. Sure. But we have a great big beautiful sign here behind us that says the word fun. That's our emphasis here at Class with a Glass, not only to have fun, but to just put aside the busyness of our lives and the busyness of our cell phones and all the other things that might keep us on the go, go, go. I just really love to see people come in and have the fun, connect with others, and spend quality time just in a different way than they, that they might be um, you know, at home or on the run. So people, for people to know that whether you're a beginner or never have thought of yourself as creative, I truly believe everyone is creative. So I welcome people to come on in and discover the joy of creativity and as well discover the benefits of, um, of exercising your brain in that manner. It, it really does produce good feelings and reduces stress I think we all could use a little bit more of that these days, and that's my goal. Great. And you also do serve wine on some occasions, is that correct? That's true. For Of course, for of-age drinkers, we offer uh, locally um, produced beverages. We are happy to partner with Harana Estates Winery and offer mm -hmm. their uh, their lovely wines and Eagle Creek Winery from up in Leavenworth. Mm -hmm. And I've recently started offering a new cider called Pair Up, and that is uh, bottled over in East Wenatchee. So between those and a few other beverages, coffee, tea, juice, soda, uh, whatever it might be that you're thirsty for, we probably have it. Right. And, um, and we do welcome kids, younger people who are underage, to come in um, and paint alongside an adult as well, even for our general sessions. So, yep, right. there's opportunity for people to enjoy an evening and, and enjoy some delicious beverage. The thing I really appreciate about what you're doing is intergenerational. That kind of activity, I think, is so important. And in fact, your father uh, attended one of our Achieving Mastery programs a little over a year ago yeah. when we had a live program at the Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center, yeah. a program that's put on by the National Council on Aging. I understand that you, know, you really do want to reach out to all ages and, and all uh, people of interest, regardless of how artistic that they is are. true. That is very true. I welcome the diversity. It's really wonderful when we can see a grandmother painting next to a teenager, painting next to a PUD lineman, and then there's a college student. It, any, anyone and everyone's welcome, and very often we have a, a, quite a diverse um, audience. That's great. Yeah. 
Well, good luck to you, Nancy, in your new location. I think your business is about ready to expand and explode in a good way. I hope so. And uh, thanks for spending time with us today. And remember to tell people again, uh, you have a website and a phone number. Or what's the best way to contact you or find out more information? Sure, thank you. The website is um, classwithaglass.com. And we actually will have a new phone number at our new site. And that phone number is 509 888 5878. Great. Thank you. Nancy Barrett from Class with a Glass. Thank you for joining us today, Nancy. Thank you, Daryl.